Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. I'm just here from the future to intro this video and tell you basically what's going on because I never filmed an intro. So basically the first half of this is me going to a bunch of car dealerships and shopping for cars and I was like set on getting a jeep and then I set on this car and I wanted this car and I ended up not getting any of the ones that I showed in the beginning and getting a completely different one in the end. So if you want to see the car that I got in the end and see the car tour you can just like skip to this time right here and that will save you from having to watch all the other shopping but if you want to watch all the shopping you can just continue on from here okay so um we are going to the jeep dealership in allentown which is like an hour away because we think we have found the one so i'll see you soon I'm gonna change because I don't really like my outfit. Here is my outfit. Okay, thank you. Hi, I was wondering if you guys still have the 2014 all white Jeep Sahara. People have it on a stand usually. I have it on a stand too. I like the truck. It looks so cool. The only bad thing, thing is that it doesn't have a light here. Like you That's have fine. To attach your ring light. It's a little busted here. In and there. And there. And there's a bump in the back. And right here also. Like, what is this? It's not that bad though, but for the price, it seems really good. It's a 2016. Okay. Um, Should we give the the outside tour too? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> In that next clip, you can actually see my phone sitting there in a cup holder, and I actually drove off without it. See, it's right there. Okay. So, here we have it. A little bump right there. So now we're at another dealership to look at other Jeeps. Wow. <laughs> Window sticker says 56. That's what I thought. What do you think? Um, that I want to eat. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> so, here's what's happening. Um, we were out today for four hours, I think, looking at cars, and we didn't find one that we liked. Oh, my hair is coming out just because it was a whole ordeal so basically we were driving an hour away to the one that I saw on the internet that I wanted to check out and we had started and we were like 20 minutes on the way there and the guy that we used to look at a car from in the beginning texted and said that he got the exact same Jeep that I said I wanted so we were like oh my god that's so much closer let's go look and we get there and it's the right color and the right everything except for it had zero upgrades it was way overpriced it had like 80,000 miles and it literally had an indented bumper and like paint was peeling off and it was so scratched and it was a mess for I think it was like $25,000 and it was a 2015 it was just a whole mess and then we were gonna just say whatever we're not getting this car we're not gonna pay that much for one that's like dumpy and we ended up we're gonna go back to the far away dealership and then my mom didn't feel like it so we went to one that was closer and we knew that they wouldn't have the one that i want but we thought we could like test drive a different one and we ended up not doing any of it so they had fifty thousand dollar moab jeeps but girling got fifty thousand dollars so that's all that happened today no car bought sadly but We'll go farther away next time and actually end up going. So 
I guess I will see you when I do that. It was kind of random in this video, but I drove by myself for the first time. And since this is kind of an all over the place car video, I wanted to add it in. So I'm driving by myself for the first time in a parking lot just to bring the car over. So wish me luck, everybody. This is nice. I like it better than driving with other people. I feel like no one's going to yell at me. Can't wait to drive by myself. This is a nice experience. So the next video in here is just the interior of a Mazda CX-5 because I was looking at those a lot and I really thought I was going to get one of those too because I really liked it. But I didn't take many videos. I just took this one like sideways on my phone and it doesn't look very good. So you might have to like flip your head. But it's in there just because I thought it was an honorable mention. Well, in this next clip, we're actually at the Audi dealership in Port Washington, and we're looking at a 2014 Audi Q5. Oh. everybody so oh i'm gonna zoom out of it i think if you watch the first half of this video of me shopping for other cars this might come as a surprise because this is not the car that i intended on getting but i was originally very interested in getting a suv because i do really love suvs and i don't know i just wanted to feel like i was like king of the road like my mom's forerunner over here is what I've learned to drive on. It's really nice actually, and I really like that car, but I learned to drive on that, and it's a lot harder to drive than this car. This car is so much easier to drive than that one that it's crazy. And it's just so much more luxurious and smooth, and I'm just obsessed. <laughs> This is the coolest thing that's ever happened to me, I think, because I'm in love with this car. And I'm so, so, so thankful. It's just amazing. And I'm not making this to brag at all because I don't want to make anyone feel bad. For me, I am literally car crazed. Like, I'm basically a car boy in girl form. So I have never been in like a quick little sports car before just the other day i went for a ride in my friend's little sporty car and i realized that i kind of don't want a big slow suv someone opened the garage and never came out i realized that i would really like to have a sporty car that's pretty fast and you can get a much nicer car for cheaper than you can get an suv the same exact day that i actually jesus it has like a seatbelt thing, it hands you your seatbelt, but it went off apparently and scared me. I don't remember what I was saying. Oh, the same day I also was going to CarSense to shop because I've been wanting to get a car for about a month and a half now since my driver's test is really soon. And I went there and I saw this and so I don't love the outside color. I wanted a black or a white car and this is actually blue. You can barely tell, but it is blue. But then I saw the inside of this car and I was like, oh, and I feel like the inside makes up for the outside color. And I don't hate the outside color because it's not like bright, obnoxious blue. You can't really tell, but I'm going to save up my money to get it painted because I'd much rather have it as black or white. And I think probably I'll do black, which I've always wanted like white with light interior, which is what I was looking for. But I don't know. I feel like this car would look better in black than white, so I might do black, but I don't have any money for that, so I gotta save that money up. I loved the inside of this. I love the, like, caramel brown color. It's just so pretty, 
and I was interested because I saw it's a two door and it's not the three series and it's a lot different and I am in love with it anyways so I also want to say I don't have my license yet which is why we're sitting in my driveway but I get my license next week so today is April 30th if you want to see one second let me clear my notifications today is April 30th and I take my driver's test on May 9th which is next Thursday so next week and I'm really nervous but I think I'll do pretty good because I've been driving for a while now for six months now and I feel very comfortable so pretty sure I'll pass the test just fine and I've been practicing parallel parking and all that which where I live, I'm literally never gonna parallel park, so I don't even know why that's on the test, but it's whatever. So I will tell you, it's a BMW 4 Series 428i, and it's X Drive, and it's coupe. And I just love it so much. It's my favorite thing ever, and it is used, it's 2015, and I got it at Carson's, so. Let's get started on the tour. So I'll do the door first. We have over here, we have buttons for the windows and the mirror and the door. There's a speaker in this little compartment here. I just have a couple chapsticks because I have a chapstick obsession. Here it says BMW Luxury. Down here are the pedals and this is how you pop the hood. And right there's how you pop the trunk. And then right here is a little compartment where I just have my sunglasses and my regular glasses in there. And then up here is a bunch of things for the lights. Then you come over here. Here's the steering wheel. I can't turn it while I'm parked. Looks like this. On this side we have, on this side we have the cruise control and these paddles, which I believe are for when you're in manual. My blinkers and my brights are right here. If it would focus, Blinkers and brights, and I don't know what that does, but there's a button on the end. On this side, we have, this is like where you scroll through songs if you're playing music, right there, and it changes the mode and the volume, and you can like talk on the phone and everything. And there's the other button. And then back here, we have, we have the windshield wipers and all that. I have some scrunchies on here because I literally use scrunchies all the time. And back here, we have the gauges. And in the middle, something shows up, so let me start the car really quick. So I do have the key, which looks like this. The BMW logo is scratched off, so I'm gonna get a new one so that that's not like that. But it's just the key, you sit in there, and just push to start. And it makes a little like dinging noise. You can see everything here. I shows up a bunch of stuff. Oh, I'm almost out of gas. There's the navigation and all of that. And you can like do tons of stuff on here with your music and this has the premium speakers, which is really nice. I absolutely love that. That was important for me. There's the air vents and all of these buttons. There's the air conditioning, the seat heaters, and all of those settings. Same thing, seat heaters, air conditioning, heat. And under here you the audio stopped working, but the heated steering wheel button. Also you have the buttons for Moving your seat around and everything. You can set them. And right here in the middle is your little shifter. And then you have parking monitor thing where it beeps at you where you're, when you're parking. You can like switch modes if you hit this. It switches right here. And changes here. There's a bunch of them. And then this is so confusing. You have to squeeze this button and move it. And I don't know, it's weird. And then park is a button here. But under here is where you can plug in a phone or something. And it's just this little like empty compartment where I have the breath spray, more chapstick, and then some little breath strips. I think that's closed. Okay, 
there's a cup holder so I just put my phone. And then this is like the dial for moving the screen around and there's all the buttons and stuff. The emergency brake is here. So I was just gonna show you what I have in here. I have this hairbrush and glasses cleaner, some hair ties, Chanel perfume, deodorant, glasses cleaner, and then a pen. I believe that's everything. Yeah, there's an aux cord in here and I have my phone cord plugged in here too, which is nice. It's very small though. You just, I was expecting a lot bigger one, but I guess it's okay. On the passenger side, it's just the glove box, like usual, and just the handles and everything. Over here I have my giant lint roller because I thought I'd have a bigger center console and then scissors just in case, because you never know when you need scissors. And this seat has buttons too, and just looks like this. Yeah. Oh, also, here's the mirror. Hello. So, it tells you like your directions you're going in, right there. And I don't know what this light is. Here's like the garage door openers and stuff. Up here we have lighting, which it's so cute how it just like, it comes on nicely. Like, it doesn't just go on and off, it like, does it subtly. Right here, opens the sunroof. Which is awesome, and closes it too. I'm actually gonna leave that open, because I'm kind of on fire, it's hot in here. You can have like, roadside assistance and all that set up if you want. The lights, okay. Now, we're gonna get in the back. Pull this forward. Hop on back here. So, if you pull it back again, it's very spacious. You have a speaker here. This is, it's the weirdest thing ever. It hands you your seatbelt, since your seatbelts are far back here. This pops out and like pulls your seatbelt forward. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I don't know, and then to move your seat forward and back, there's buttons there. And there's the air conditioning, heating, and all that. And the little like port things. I don't know what this is for. You can't sit in the middle because this is in the way. But then this is the center console thing. And this is cool. It just pops open. And then this, I believe, if you open it, it opens to the trunk. You can just put that seat down if you want, just the one down. But then the side just looks the same. It has the same seat belt thing. Here's the front again. I'm gonna show the outside from like different angles for you. I just want to say, um, again, not trying to brag or anything, since I know lots of people think that's what I'm doing. I'm really not. I'm just excited that I got a new car, and I have a little key here. Oh well, yeah, in case you saw this, $6.99 on eBay. I saw it on eBay for $6.99. I was like, dope. I know it doesn't look like a real one, but I don't really care. But yeah, I have this little keychain with a bunch of stuff on it. I have the key. I poked a hole in the back of my chapstick so I can put it on here. And now I don't even really like that chapstick, which kind of sucks because now it's on there. And then I have my house key. And I got this little case off of Amazon for your AirPods so you can hook them onto something. So I thought that was kind of cool. And I had to be as basic as I possibly could. And have oh, I didn't like that noise. And have everything on a keychain that they carry around. So it is a 2015 BMW 428i with X drive and it's a coupe and it has I think 38,000 miles on it but anyways I just want to say thanks for watching this video and I hope you enjoyed if you did you can give a thumbs up down below or whatever and also you can subscribe down below I have a lot of other videos I do really love cars and I plan on making more car videos now that I can drive and drive myself to cars and coffee and stuff and look for cars since my parents don't like my car obsession and don't want to drive me 
places so that I can look at cars and <laughs> fuel my addiction. But one and a half weeks and I'll be out on my own and that's like the most exciting thing ever. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video and if you did, you can give a thumbs up down below and subscribe down below. Comment what you liked, what you didn't like, what you want to see next, all that good stuff. And I also want to say, holy crap, so many things have changed in the past like two weeks on my YouTube channel that it's just crazy. Like, I hit 4,000 subscribers in like two weeks and one of my videos has 50,000 views, my hair dyeing video, and my clothing hauls are doing amazingly and it's just the coolest thing ever and I even got to put ads on my videos now which is so exciting and really 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 cool that I can get paid to do something that I love so much so I just wanted to say thank you for watching my videos and liking them and being nice to me and accepting me into this YouTube community because I absolutely love YouTube and I've wanted to make a YouTube channel for so long. Like literally since I was probably like eight or nine or 10, I've wanted a YouTube channel for so long, but I just always never knew what to do or never could work up the courage to do it or anything. I am very thankful for every single one of you that likes my stuff and I think it's the coolest thing ever. And also, I was gonna say, a bunch of you follow me on Instagram and DM me and said hi, and I think that's so cool too. It's so cool to like interact with the people that like my stuff, and I'm just, it's, it just doesn't feel real. It's crazy. But I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you next week. <laughs>